All right, guys, so back in the right view, let's create a sketch on the 2D background. Let's switch to the line tool and let's just outline this little reference here. I'm gonna right click it, OK, and we can finish sketch at this point. We can go to modify, split body, select the main body, and for the splitting tool will be that line we just created. Now we can go over to the bodies layer and right click and go to remove and remove that excess body we don't need anymore. Now let's select this surface and create a sketch. And let's use our famous line tool and begin to follow the reference. So I'll start somewhere around here and then follow it up right here. And let's right click it OK. I just want to adjust this line and make it match up a little bit better. And I'll use the line tool to continue moving forward. And we're just gonna we're just gonna adjust the lines as we see fit. So we'll just drag this down to match a bit better. Go back to the line tool and we'll just keep moving forward. And it doesn't have to be exactly how I'm doing mine. This is just one way of many to get the same result. So I'm just connecting lines and connecting them to the edge. So somewhere around here to this corner. And let's just uh, connect these two vertices together. And then we'll go back to the line tool. And from this point, we'll just angle this off to the bottom right corner just to close it off. And we'll follow this reference downwards. And we'll also go down and connect these two to close it out. And also notice uh, I can't close out this profile because I need to connect these two lines together. Now we have a profile to, uh, we can right click and go to press pull. And we're just going to press pull this inward so we can get a nice little cut. So ensure the operation is on cut, not join a new body. Hit OK. Now let's go back to the front view and let's go on the surface we just created and go to create sketch once again and let's use our circle diameter circle tool here to follow the reference so from the center point we'll just click once move it outwards and click again to close it out now we're going to shift select uh, all three of these profiles and if a profile was through uh, hidden through another body you can just left click and hold and select profile now we can press pull these and we're going to press pull it in two directions. So the first one we're going to move in. We're going to switch it from one side to two sides. And we're going to drag the white arrow outwards. And this looks fine. So change it from cut to new body. And let's hit OK. Now back in the front view, let's just go and go to modify chamfer. And I want to chamfer this rounded edge here. Just bring it in a little bit closer, somewhere around here. And let's hit OK. So we're not going to worry about too much detail on this specific body just yet. We're still blocking out. So let's click this surface here and create a sketch. And let's start getting some more of these cutout shapes. So we're going to use the line tool to cut or to follow these references. Little reference shapes here, just standard primitives. So this is good here. Right click. Let's just pull this backwards just to the edge of here. And we're going to go to fill it. And we're going to round off these edges. Right click, hit OK. And let's go back to fill in. Let's just round these off as well. Let's dial this back so it's a bit sharper. We're satisfied. We'll right click, hit OK. And let's just press pull this profile. And we're going to press pull this in a lot deeper than the rest of the cuts. Because so we need some of that breakup and variation. Now let's select this surface and create a sketch once again. And we're going to go to our line tool. See, the line tool is really useful. You can use it for any situation. So let's just follow this, this reference image. And I could also just go to split body and then fill it the sharp edges, but I'd rather create a pipe out of this. So while we're here, instead of closing out the sketch, we can just continue with the rest of the lines that are on this same level. That's good. Now, if we want, we could offset this, press pull this. Let's just press pull this a little bit, um, just a little bit right here. I don't want to go further than the other cuts. Now what I'll do is select this surface and create a sketch. And I want to get some of this uh, minor detail here. And we're going to start cutting this out with a pipe. So I'll follow this reference. And we're going to go to finish sketch, then create pipe select our line 
and let's just adjust the size of the pipe so it's not ridiculously big. Somewhere around here looks fine. We're going to ensure it's on cut and hit OK. Now we're going to rinse and repeat that. So create a sketch on this surface once again. Let's use our favorite line tool. We're just going to trace this for reference. That's good. Let's adjust this, make it a little taller. Go back to the line tool. Once we're satisfied with this, we can right click, hit OK. And now we can just finish sketch. And it's a lot of things we can do right now. We can go to modify split body and split this by this line. But instead, let's go to create and select pipe. Now select our line that we want to be the pipe. And let's just downscale this to something right about here. That looks good. You sure the operation is on cut and hit OK. Now let's select this surface and go to create sketch. And we're going to use the two point rectangle. I don't want to get this little button here on the side, which might be maybe a safety switch. So somewhere around here looks good. And we'll just shift select both of these and press pull. And we'll just press pull this inwards. And let's switch it from one side to two sides so we can grab this white arrow and pull this out somewhere around here. And change the operation from cut to new body. And let's hit OK. Now what I like to do is hit, I have to go to fillet mode and select these two edges. And let's just go back to the right view or the front view so we can see what we're doing as we're adjusting this. And let's also go to modify chamfer. And let's chamfer this top edge and the bottom edge. Let's bring this into about here. That looks good. Let's hit OK. We're not going to worry about doing any boolean operations just yet, so let's create a sketch and choose the 2D background. Now we're going to use a two-point rectangle to create half of this little knob shape here on the reference. Right down the middle to the right edge, and we'll right-click it OK. Now let's um, we'll just fill it off this top right corner. Now we can go to finish sketch and just revolve this. So create, revolve, or just select the icon there. You choose the center line, change from cut to new body, and hit OK. Now let's create a sketch, select the 2D background, and let's use our line tool. And let's just follow this reference so we can give this knob some space on here. Now we're going to go to modify split body, and let's choose our body and the line we just created to split it by. And we're going to remove this in the bodies layer. So right click, remove, and we are done for now.